All right, number one, continuing to work on getting your hands to not cut off chords. So when you slide from one to the next, one thing I heard yesterday, uh, <clears throat> keep in mind, a lot of times that's kind of happened. And what that means is, at least how I created that, is I took pressure off of these two fingers. So maybe think when you're sliding up, your index finger seems to be pretty good, keeping that note down. Maybe think about keeping your ring and your pinky finger down a little bit harder. And that might help keep those chords ringing out. Um, so let's go ahead and hit this at 60. One, two, three, four. Remember keeping, <clears throat> basically you're, you're mimicking how you slid in bars one and three. Uh, you're going to mimic that motion in bars two and four. It's just you're picking. So basically, you, you just keep sliding and, pick, and picking when you go to bars two and four. That's basically the goal there. Uh, and get this as fast as you can, really. So if you notice that anything's being cut off, then it's you got to back off the speed. So always focus on accuracy. Clarity is number one. So just uh, double the speed there. So here is. Here's how it is, 120, 1, 2, 3, 4. And because it's all quarter notes, I'm just going to double it again. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. finger all right um two also a speed drill get her as fast as you can two downstrokes per click or downstrokes and yeah so break it down into as many pieces as you need to something you might want to do is just work on just those three chords there uh, this way you can get used to moving the chord on the upbeat while continuing to do nothing but downstrokes there so piece by piece and if you need to work on just like the first half of the first bar that's fine you need to work on just here to here that's fine so break it down into as many small pieces as you need to until you can start more comfortably moving around throughout this whole chromatic chord progression and then start speeding her up with everything up so here it is at 60 one Two, three, four. Keep that pressure down. Keep the fingers pressure down the whole time. Shouldn't be coming off the fretboard at all on this guy. Here's 120. One, two, three, four. One more at 160. One, two, one, two, three, four. That was terrible. One, two, one, two, three, four. So this was definitely going to be much more difficult than last week's. Okay, number three. So on this one, you know, focus on letting the final chord of each bar ring out fully. So don't cut it off as soon as you're done hitting it. Let it ring out a little bit. Try and let it ring out the entire quarter note. And you're just going to have to shift your hand fast to get to that C5 and strum at the same time. So this one, the, the regular rhythm work idea. 
Going from 60 to 120. And one, <coughs> two, three, four, one, and, and 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 In case you forgot, remember you don't have to let this last chord ring out all four beats. Just put the, the whole note there so this way it's filled in appropriately. And you may notice I never hold this one out for all four counts. I just hit it, say done, and then that's that. The chord's there just to resolve the whole progression. So if you don't want to hold it out all four beats, you don't have to. If you do want to hold it out all four beats, have at it. All right, number four, be, the thing to be careful with here is when you move to the A string for the root note, make sure that that low E string stays muted. Got to fix that. And any time when you're working on this, if you jump up from the C5 to the F5, if you hear that low E string ring out, don't just keep going. Try it again. So this way you continue practicing landing the chord change while keeping the low E string muted. All right, here it is. 60. One, <coughs> two, three, four, one, two, three, and, and, one, two, three, and, and, one, two, three, and, and, one, two. Twenty, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and 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 one. All right, and last one. So this one, remember you want to be able to say the count following the metronome before you start strumming anything. So make sure you can do that one step at a time. Sixty beats a minute. One, two, three, four, one, two, and four. What am I doing? Speaking of being able to say it before you play it, I should pay better attention. One, 
two, three, four, one, two and and four, one, two and and four, one and and three, four, one and and three, four, one, two and and four, one, two and and four, one and and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. One, and and three, four. One, and and three, four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. One, and and three, four. One, and and three, four. Done. And one twenty. A one, two. Three, four, one, two, and and four, one, two, and and four, four, and three, four, one, and three, four, four, two, and and four, one, two, and four, one, and three, four, one, and three, four, ten. All right. I believe that covers everything. So, any questions come up, let me know. And I'll see you again on Monday.